So that is Joey Landreth, and the dude is an absolute triple threat. He is a world-class guitarist, singer, and songwriter. And it's almost not fair for one person to be this good at all three of those things, but he really is. And if you're not familiar, Joey fronts a band with his brother Dave called the Brothers Landreth. He also has released a number of solo records under his own name. And I believe Joey will go down as one of the greatest musicians of our time. And if you're not familiar with him, hopefully after this video, you'll understand why I say that. I was lucky enough to catch the Brothers Landreth in concert this past weekend. Eddie's Attic. It was one of the best shows I have seen in recent memory. It was so entertaining and so musical. I, I'm a massive fan, genuinely, not just of Joey, but that entire band. Uh, Dave on bass and Roman on drums. These guys are absolute monsters. And uh, right now they're on tour. So I'm gonna have their dates linked down below. They're touring a lot this year. They're actually going to Europe later this year as well. So check those dates out. And if they're coming to a city near you, you absolutely have to go see these guys live. They are killer, killer. And while you're down there checking out the tour dates, please subscribe. According to my analytics, still 60% of the people that watch this channel on a regular basis are not subscribed, and it really does help me and the channel out when you click that red button. And you can also find links to my video courses and things down there as well. With all that out of the way, let's take a listen to Joey Landreth. Let me tell you about a girl I know. She's my baby and she lives next door Every morning before the sun comes up She brings my coffee in my favorite cup That's how I know, yes sir Yes I know, hallelujah, just love her so When I'm in trouble and I need a friend She'll stick by me right until the end People ask me just how I know I just smile and say she told me so That's how I know mm -hmm. Yes, I know Hallelujah, just love her so I, I mean, do I need to say anything else? I mean, just just that. <laughs> just playing this, this classic Ray Charles tune. Everything is there. First of all, a sense of time feel and rhythm is is Perfect. I mean, everything is exactly where it needs to be. The way he's moving between these chords and, and these passing tones and, and up and down with the walking bass lines and the rhythm, you can tell he has spent thousands of hours listening to the greats, not just the guitar greats, but I mean, this Ray Charles thing, it does justice to the original song, to the original uh, spirit of Ray Charles. And it's just him and his electric guitar. There are very, very few people alive today that could do this song this way and do it justice. And then on top of all that, check out his uh, improv chops. <laughs> Phone. And I tell her that I'm all alone In the time it takes to count to four Then she is knocking down my door And in the evening child When the sun goes down And there is nobody else around She kisses me and she holds me tight Tells me darling everything's alright That's how I know Ooh. Yes, I know, hallelujah, I just love her so Hallelujah, I just love her so Hallelujah, I just love her so Just, come on. Like, did you notice the sense of dynamic he had there? Not just in his playing, but in his singing as well. Like, he accompanies himself so well. It would be very easy for someone like this, I think, to overdo it, to overplay, especially on a, a solo arrangement like this, but he didn't. There was a natural sense of ebb and flow. The dynamics were there. To me, this is a perfect example of Joey's absolute mastery of the instrument and of his vocal chops. It's insane. <laughs>
part of Joey's sound is actually his tuning, and the way he has his guitar set up. Uh, a large portion of what he plays is actually in open C tuning. Now, open C, if you're not familiar, is very similar to open E. Uh, we're just tuned way down. So like open E, we're tuning the guitar to a major chord to a major triad, in this case, C major. And we're doing it by tuning it to the intervals of like an E major chord, like you would voice it here. So root, fifth, root, third, fifth, root. Now in the case of open C, we have C, G, C, E, G, C. And that gives us this really, really dark, amazingly swampy, beautiful tuning. off, Joey's got a set of really heavy strings on his Sorokin guitar there. Uh, and on this guitar, I actually have his string gauge set. They're basically a baritone set because we're tuned down this low on a standard scale length guitar. Uh, we need the heavier gauge string to kind of stand up to the lower tuning. So it actually plays like your normal guitar would play, except you just have a much heavier gauge string on, which actually helps with the slide playing. But the reason I love this clip is it shows that he's taking this sort of classic slide guitar tuning and taking it a step further. He's not just doing the standard, you know, cliche one, four, five blues slide guitar riffs. His ability to take that tradition and give it his own sort of fingerprint, his own sound is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> thing I can say about Joey's guitar playing is every time I watch him play, he makes me want to pick up my guitar and practice. And it's not from a place of like competition or a place of comparison. It's like genuinely inspiring for me. His sound and his feel and his phrasing is what I want to be able to sound like. I want to be able to do this stuff, not necessarily just with the slide and the open tunings, but his knowledge of chords and, and harmony and the ability to blend all that with his phrasing and improvisation, like that's the kind of guitar player I want to be when I grow up. So every single time I see him play, it, it makes me want to grab my guitar and play with him. As a, as a way of getting you excited and inspired about playing the guitar, Joey Landreth does that for me better than almost anyone. Got a hand in my pocket And she walks with a swing Well my baby she gives me that old school thing Well now she don't mind If the whole world stares Well now she is so fine You know it just ain't fair She is so fine and it just ain't fair Tell me what can I you're the only one I'm helpless, it's true Well, I've come undone Honey, honey It's got to be you First of all, his brother Dave is a phenomenal bass player. His, his sense of pocket and his sense of groove is so deep that he's making this basic little drum machine groove. And I love this song because the hook, the hook is so well written that there's actual chord changes, there's an actual melody and it's memorable. This hook sticks with you. This is actually one of my favorite songs and my wife Tilly, this is one of her favorite songs. She, she listens to this song all the time. And it's actually, I think somewhat of a rare thing. When you have someone who's a real virtuoso on their instrument, I think it's actually somewhat rare for that person to also be an incredible songwriter and to, to have the ability to write 
really memorable, accessible songs. When I was at the show the other night at Eddie's Attic, yeah, there were a lot of guitar players in the room, don't get me wrong, but just as many guitar players as there were, there were people that just loved music and were there because they liked the songs. And that's something that I think is missing from a lot of sort of players out there, like these virtuoso artists and, and musicians that are amazing in so many ways, sometimes they can lack the song. Everything that they're doing, Dave and Joey are doing, is the right thing for this song. They're serving the song so well. And for me, when it comes to my favorite musicians, that's one thing they all have in common. They know how to play to and serve the song above all else. Yes, Joey and Dave can both play their asses off. They can shred, they can melt your face, but that's not what the song needs. The song needs deep, pocket, feel good, bluesy, greasy grooves and that's what they're doing. Nothing more and nothing less. And it's so refreshing to see that. And then when it's time to open the taps and play something cool and kind of lean into it a little bit, they can do that. that sense of dynamic again when she calls me in the night time talking sweet and low well my heart skips a beat of brother don't you know and when she kisses and hugs me makes me want to sing Oof. she got a tiny car love but like a diamond ring tiny car love like the diamond ring Tell me what can I do? Come on, man. You're the only one. I'm never said it's true. Well, I've come undone. Honey, honey, it's got to be you. I, I should have paused this earlier because, you know, it's going to make the video long, but I just, you want to listen to the songs. It's such a simple thing, but it's so great. Like, it's, uh, it's, ah, uh, I just love it. I love it. They can play their asses off, they can sing their asses off, and then they can write songs that you actually want to listen to. They're a triple threat. Okay, and to put even a finer point on it, I want to show you one more thing. This is a song called You Don't Know Me that they just released off of their latest record. Uh, link down below, you should absolutely go spin their new record. It's amazing. Stick with me here. This song is a little bit slower. It's a lower, more subtle dynamic. Listen to this band as a whole. This group is so well seasoned. Every single one of these musicians is so dialed in to serving the song and to the dynamic. And then I want you to listen to the quality of Joey's vocal performance here. There's a difference between someone being a great singer and someone who knows how to record vocals. You can have someone who's an absolute monster vocalist who sounds great in the room, but you put them under a microphone and it doesn't quite translate. Like Daniel Lenoir says, they don't have a great vocal print. Joey does. Just just listen to this. You don't dial my number on the phone. You don't dial my number on the phone. But it's been the same since 2004. But you don't dial my number. big part of the reason this sounds so good is this was recorded incredibly well. Uh, Paul Yi, shout out to him, uh, recorded, mixed, and mastered this video. But it's a combination of musicians who know how to play to the room, play to the song, in combination with musicians like Joey and Dave who know how to write 
incredible songs. There's just no other way to look at it. This is an amazingly well-written song. And in an age where a lot of new music today is rather lackluster and there's a lot of people complaining that there's no good music being made today, that the, you know all the good music was made in, in decades past, it's completely wrong. There is amazing music being made today. There are amazing musicians out there today making records that are world-class, that are legendary, and that will find their recognition in due time. And I think the Brothers Landreth are that. I think they are that level. And I think they will reach millions and millions of people with their music in the coming years. As a final example, listen to the bridge. Listen to the bridge that they wrote for this song, okay? You don't know my name anymore you just smile and look away when I see you at the store But you don't know my name anymore beautiful like uh, it just it, to me it just it wraps everything up and and it's a perfect example of why I love this band and why I love Joey's playing and his musicianship so much you have this beautiful song this wonderful dynamic but then there's this ability to write this beautifully complex yet fitting bridge and on a personal note, I've gotten to hang out with Joey and Dave and Roman on drums, Roman Clark on drums, and you could not find nicer, more humble, more down-to-earth people. They are so kind, they are so caring, they're so cool, and they're so good. So please, check out their tour dates, check out their record. If the Brothers Landreth are coming to play a show anywhere near you, buy a ticket, and go see them. And while you're there, buy a t-shirt, buy, buy Joey's signature pedal, support these guys because they deserve it. They are truly, in my opinion, one of the best bands out there today. So that's what I think about Joey Landreth. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you a fan? Are you a new fan? Is this your first time hearing about Joey? Let me know in the comments section down below. Like I said, Go check out their tour dates. Go check out their records. Go support these guys. They absolutely deserve it. Uh, if you'd also like to support the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of my video courses in the description box down below. And uh, thank you for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl. I will catch you on the next one.